Harrison throw in. Throw in Northwest. Low kick, Northwest. I'm sorry if my angle is bad, I cannot see the ball. Throw in Northwest. Harrison throw in. Northwest throw in. Goal kick, Harrison.
Harrison throw in. Harrison throw in. Throw in Northwest. Northwest throw in. Allen Northwest, free kick Harrison.
Pass and throwing. Northwest throw in. Northwest throwing.
Harrison Thurlin. Goal kick, Northwest. Free kick, Harrison. Alan Harrison, free kick, Northwest. Free kick, Northwest.
Harrison throwing. Harrison. Harrison. Throwing. Goal kick, Northwest.
Harrison throwing. Goal kick, Northwest. Northwest throwing. Goal kick, Harrison. Harrison throwing. Harrison, free kick, Northwest.
halftime, no score. Question. When you walk into the boardrooms of the most successful companies here in Ohio, who do you meet? Answer, men and women who played high school sports. Education-based high school sports give us more than athletes we can root for. They give us leaders we can depend on. Question, so where will we find tomorrow's leaders? Answer, high school sports. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association and the Ohio Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Okay, welcome here um, at um, Northwest High School with the junior varsity game of the William Harris, Henry Harrison against Northwest Soccer, Northwest Knights. On a beautiful October night here in Southwest Ohio, probably pushing about 80 degrees and um, I guess we'll enjoy the days while we got them. Okay, we had a scoreless first half um, between William Harrison, Henry Harrison, and um, the Northwest Knights. And we're here starting the second half. And we do not have a scoreboard with time, so we're going to have to kind of eyeball it. And we have a corner kick, I think, coming up for um, William Henry Harrison. And uh, do not have standings for the J junior varsity team. I'll cover that later tonight in the varsity game. Ball is crossed out to the 18 box and cleared. Well, almost cleared out. And another shot for William Henry Harrison in white. Ball carries out of bounds and over the end line. So I think we are playing on here what would be the football, high school football field as well. And um, ball throwing the ball in for Henry Harrison is number four. I do not have a JV roster, so I'm just going to have to go with numbers here. Ball is cleared out. Ball is cleared to the end line by Northwest. And cleared out. So with the um, COVID crisis earlier in the year, COVID-19, most of the games are being played at later dates. It's around this time we'd be getting into the playoffs. Um, but we still got regular seasons coming up. And it looks like... Um, Talk a little bit about the varsity team. Northwest is two and six in varsity, and um, Harrison is five, two, and one in the conference. On the overall record, Harrison, which is seven, four, and one, and um, Northwest is three, ten, and one. Um, in, in action this week, um, Edgewood nine, Mount Healthy one. And on Tuesday, we had Talawanda beating Northwest 3-0 and Harrison beating Ross 2-1. Okay. So the ball is thrown in by William Henry Harrison. Looking for an open man. Crossing it. And cleared. Nice defensive play from Northwest. Number nine, doing a nice job. Oh, cleared the ball out, made a beautiful move there. Good cross pass. Back to the middle. And um, Northwest has been able to take it outside of their field. And now for the first time in the second half, they've actually got the ball up in the um, William Henry Harrison side of the field. 
So thir the halves are 36 minutes in um, high school or JV. And um, I think since we don't have the schedule, we're going to guess about 30 minutes left in the second half here. Um, in soccer, there is ties are allowed. So if we end up at zero to zero, the score will remain at that end of the game. There'll be no penalty. There'll be no overtime. There'll be no exciting PKs like in World Cup soccer. It'll just be a plain old tie, which for most people, what's the analogy? Kick, a tie Harrison. is like kissing your sister. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're guessing around 32 minutes here to go in the second half. And we've got, this is the first of a doubleheader tonight. We've got the varsity teams playing after this. It was a good opportunity there. Shot on goal and saved by Northwest. And we're going to have a replay here. See the first save of the second half for Northwest. Ball was cleared back to the 18. Pretty easy ball to handle there. Of course, a little low ball. He's got, a, he got his body in front of it, so no chance of it going through his legs. If you've seen enough soccer games, you've seen goals go in the net, even at upper level when um, they don't do that. So here's William Henry Harris, a nice move down the left side, and it's going to be a throw-in for Northwest. Northwest throw-in. Looks like we've got, oh, I thought we had a substitution in there, but um, I'm incorrect. cleared out and out of bounds. If anybody's listening to this from out of state, which there might be one out of Arizona right now, William Henry Harrison, William Harrison is actually on the border of Ohio and Indiana. There's actually a Harrison, Indiana as well. Um, and I think at one point there might have been, now I'm thinking of a different city, there used to be a school that actually had um, Okay, gotcha. Yeah, there's actually a, there's a city up further north that actually has, it's called College Corner, Indiana, north of here, almost up towards um, Oxford, Miami, Ohio, where you actually have high school students from two different states in the same high school. I think part of the high school is actually in both states, isn't it? Yeah, and if you think about it, if everybody knows, um, going back a few years, Indiana used to stay on the same time all year long. So he actually had an hour difference half of the year between one part of the school and the other part of the school. Um, now Indiana does the same as everywhere else. It's on daylight savings time, um, Eastern daylight savings time. Ball is kicked down to William Henry Harrison. William Henry Harrison settles at number 24. Nice job of bringing it out. Plays it wide. It looks like he almost played it to the ref there. Um, but actually, number three from Harrison's on. Here's their first good opportunity. The second half, he was not able to clear it to the middle. Um, good scoring opportunity there Harrison for throwing. William Henry Harrison. Instead, they get a throw in, and I think we're guesstimating now down to maybe 27 minutes here in the second half. So we will keep you up to date, or if you're watching the game, you can use it on your watch. In high school soccer, in most soccer, the clock does not stop in, unless there's an injury or a penalty of some sort. So you can pretty much run your clock, unlike other sports, by whatever your watch says. It's just going to continuously run and run. Um, that's one of the reasons why, not in high school, high school has a fixed clock, but in uh, most of the other organized soccer, the ref at their discretion can add a certain amount of time based on injuries and things of that nature. That's not, not the case in high school. So when the clock goes to zero, the half is over. Ball was cleared and out to the side. So we've got a sunny day here today. Yeah, Actually, the sun's in. shining in my eyes right now. Um, so anyway, we've got a throw in here for William Henry Harrison. Ball is cleared to the corner and back out. There's a good cross. This could be our first really good scoring opportunity. Oh, he, he just missed that, but he did the right thing. In that situation, you want to go for the far post um, because if it had hit the, let's say it hit the um, goal post, 
comes back out and gives you a chance to score. When you go for the short side and shoot the other end, usually it's either going to make it or not. So good opportunity, just barely missed it, and it remains scoreless here. William Henry Harrison against the Northwest Knights. And it's, uh, it's the William Henry, Henry Harrison are called the Wildcats, and Northwest are called the Knights. Okay, the throw in for number 32 for Northwest. We've got a substitution coming out, number 14 coming out for um, Northwest. Nice throw in. Settle. And one timed it out. Nice job by um, William Henry Harrison. Um, I'm not sure if we, he called the dangerous on that one. Alan Harrison, free kick Northwest. So it looked like he might have, ball may, he might have kicked it higher, closer to the other player. So as a result, we've got a foul, and we've actually got a free kick here for William Henry Harrison. See if this might be a good scoring opportunity for Northwest. See if he intends to shoot it right on net, or if he's going to try to put it to the far right and maybe have one of the players at Northwest head the ball in the net. We'll see what he does here. Might go, might go for the goal which is what he did. Actually, he came off a player, and oh! Oh, almost a decent scoring opportunity. It deflected off number 24, um, almost. And it came on to 21, and he's a little upset he wasn't able to clear that. So I wasn't able to tell on that replay, actually, if he, he must have cleared it against his chest or if he actually handballed that one. I don't think he did. But a great scoring opportunity by Northwest. Goes by the wayside. 21, plays it back. Unfortunately, played a little bit wide. And we've got a counter here for William Harry Harrison. Plays it down the sideline. Well played, 11. See if he can outrun the defender. And no, well defended by Northwest. Um, cleared the ball back out. And um, we've got a throw in for William Henry Harrison. So, so far in the second half, we've had two good, pretty good scoring opportunities on both sides of the arena. Henry Harrison trying to win the ball. Might be an opportunity right here for net and right at the goalie. Unfortunately, he was not able to get much pace on that. Um, so as a result, it was an easy save. Easy save for the keeper. So this game is going out on Waycross TV live over the internet and it will be played later on tonight on the local stations. But um, if you're listening right now, you are listening live. Well, if you're listening later, you might not know you can still listen later, but uh, it'll be a different time than me. So, anyway. <laughs> Ball cleared by Harrison. And goes looking to go down the wing again. Brought back to the middle and cleared out of play by number nine for Northwest. Harrison throwing. Throw and chested. Little back kick there, very nice. Nice pass right across. Good opportunity for number 26. Back to Harrison. I think as they get down near the 18, there's a little bit too much of trying to shoot it on net rather than making one extra pass and maybe having a good scoring opportunity. But there's a good opportunity just over the top. Very close, watch the replay of that. That just missed the right-hand corner. Goal kick, Northwest. Had a good kick on that, a little up in the air. And um, little, looked like it, it was close, but it was clearly going over the top. So that was an instance where he went for the near post and no opportunities. If he misses that near post, it's out of play. But not a bad, bad time to take a sh shot right there. Oh, a couple nice passes there. Number 26 for Henry Harrison. Made a little spin move, a little 180 there. Not sure if that was intentional or if he 
There we go. Nice chance here. Number 11 and cleared nicely by Northwest. Cleared it out of trouble there. Another scoring opportunity, a buildup here for William Henry Harrison. Harrison throwing. Seems like we might just have it just a matter of time before they get a potentially get a goal here. There again, rather than making the pass, that's an ambitious shot from about 35 yards out to put that on net. So in that instance, it's better off to work it back or work make the extra pass rather than take a shot. Very low percentage shot from that far out. So um, we've got, this started at 545. We're probably about 15 minutes into the second half. So we've probably got maybe about 20 minutes to go. Nice move there by number 29. Oh, settles it through. Here we go. Keep a nice job there at Northwest to make it impossible for the William Henry Harrison to get to the ball. So nice job. He was shielding him, but perfectly Girl, legal. Northwest. So we've got a goal kick here for Northwest. We continue at a 0-0 tie here. And as we said, this is the first of two matches tonight. The second match in the Southwest Ohio Conference will be the varsity teams at Northwest versus William Henry Harrison. I could feel the head on that one. Nice head, but you could hear the thud from up here. There we go. No. Good ball movement there. Definitely kicked away by the Northwest Knights. And cleared out, but not to anybody in particular. Cleared out to one William Henry Harrison. That situation, he actually had time not to actually try to advance the ball. Didn't have any pressure around him, so it would be better to have taken his time, maybe even dribble forward. We've got an opportunity for number 29. Gets to this corner, maybe crosses it. Cleared away by Northwestern. Another nice job of taking it out of trouble. So, just like in the Harrison beginning of this in. first half, a good portion of the action has been on the Northwest Knight side of the field. Um, it seems like it's only a matter of time till Henry Harrison breaks through with the goal, but sometimes it just takes one counter and Northwest, the Northwest Knights would have the lead here. Throw in here for William Henry Harrison. And let's see if you get a nice cross. And it is unfortunately played behind the net. In that situation, it'd be better to play it out to the 12 or the 18 yard and give his team a chance to score. Got two substitutions coming in here for the Northwest Knights. We got number 28 coming out, number 24 coming coming in, I mean. Number 39 leaving, and um, we've also got number 33 subbing out as well. So we're about halfway through here, the second half. Northwest Knight, zero. William Henry Harrison, zero. And um, as we've said earlier, um, William Henry Harrison's had the better of the opportunities here, but they haven't cashed in on them, so we remain in a zero-zero tie. And again, there will be no overtime. There will be no penalty kicks tonight. It will just be into regulation. And if we remain 0-0, zero, zero, we're done. And we'll get ready for the varsity game. So plenty of sunlight here for game number one, but by the end of game number two, we'll be playing under the lights here for sure. In October, we're probably getting dark around 7-10, 7-15. We're on the far eastern side of the, far western side of the eastern time zone. So our summers are longer, and all of our sunlight's longer because we're about an hour east of New York almost. So, um, so we'll get into the second half before the sun goes down. Throw in here coming up for Northwest. We'll see if Northwest can bring it in on their side. That's a heck of a throw. Right down the sideline, and still, still down the sideline, and here's Northwest Knights taking advantage. Oh, yeah. Pushed him in the back, so a legitimate call there by the referee. So we've got a foul, and we've got North. We've got William Henry Harrison with the chance. 
as you can see on the replay, he definitely got up the back there. But that was a heck of a throw-in. Um, if they get down that side of the field, I would be having that guy throw in towards the goal. That can be an extra weapon. Northwest Knights cross and a nice save by the keeper. So that's the first shot on goal here in the second half for Northwest. Pretty easy. Pretty easy take by the keeper, but, but, but hey, put it on net. You got a chance to score, right? Here's William Henry Harrison countering. Playing it down the side. Well defended by Northwest. Once again, it's down the sideline. And let's see. He, number 23 clears it out. So we've got a throw in for um, William Henry Harrison. Harrison. So let's see if William Henry Harrison can take advantage down here and get themselves a goal and the lead. So an illegal throw in by William Henry Harrison, and it will it will go to Northwest. Don't call illegal throw-ins as much as they used to. You used to have to keep your feet down over the head. Now it, there's a lot more latitude on illegal throw-ins. But you do have to go behind your head, so. There's another nice throw-in. Yeah, that's, he just easily clears that without a problem. Cleared wide, but back to Henry Harrison, plays it back. Very well done. He's going to look to play it to the middle. And attempted to get it to his teammate, but a little errant on the kick. Ball is played. Let's see if Northwest can counter. Here they do. You've, they've got a good opportunity here. If he can clear it through, there's an opportunity. Can he outrun? And a good burst of speed there from William Henry Harrison. And now the Knight is caught up. Let's see if he takes a shot from here. Oh, a little bit too far in his touch. If he could have had a better touch there, he would have had a good shot on goal. Unfortunately, kicked it a little too far out. As a result, Northwest missed on a pretty good opportunity there on a counter two on one. And here's Harrison back on the attack again. Ball is cleared into the stands, cleared into a, a spectator. And throw in here for William Henry Harrison. Collision there off of the Northwest Knight. And we've either got a throw in or we might have a foul. Free kick, Northwest. Oh, we had the foul on Northwest. Or on, he had, had him, William Henry Harrison. I wasn't sure who that foul was on. Didn't know, didn't know if it was the other way. There we go. That was well booted. And a nice move there. Unfortunately, carried a little bit too far and definitely cleared away by William Henry Harrison. Back to the middle. Well played. Good idea. Good ball movement there. We got about three or four passes. Unfortunately, that particular pass was not on. JV's had a little trouble here making consecutive passes, and as a result, neither team is building up an attack to potentially score. But if we're given anybody who's got the better opportunities in the second half, as far as quantity of time, I would definitely give it to William Henry Harrison. But Northwest has had a couple of chances um, two score also in this half. Well defended, taken back, a beautiful pass right there. See if he can settle it, unfortunately he's not able to. And goes out of bounds. And the ball reverts to Northwest. So Northwest, looks like we got about 20, <coughs> I'd say we got what, maybe 13, 14 minutes to go in the half. Um, and let's see, we got substitution coming in, coming out number <coughs> 24, coming in for the Northwest Knights. Number 33. So we've got about 12 or 13 minutes to see if either side can get a goal. So far, there hasn't been a great opportunity. There's been, been some good opportunities here in the half. As we said before, we're playing on the um, football field, and you can see the different lines for soccer versus football. Football would be the white lines. Soccer would be the yellow lines on the field. So, so we got 12 minutes to go in the half here. And there's Harrison with the chance. Beautiful cross. Good chance of scoring and a nice play by the keeper. Very well done by the keeper. Watch how the keeper was aggressive, pouncing on the ball as it was crossed. 
That was a good scoring opportunity without that. That's exactly what you want from your keeper. You don't want a timid keeper. You want a keeper that's decisive. And that's exactly what the keeper did on that play. Do a nice job. Here's Harrison with a chance here. See if he can launch a shot. He does, but right at the keeper. You know, William Harrison's had a couple of scoring opportunities here, but it's kind of, kind of a magnet. They're kicking it on one bounce of the keeper who's having no trouble making the stop. Hell of a, heck of a kick right there. He kicked it all the way to the 40-yard line, so he, he, got a, he got a good boot on that one. There you go. Well settled. A couple nice passes there. Well done, William Henry Harrison. Takes his time, looks to cross it to the middle, and a throw in for Harrison. A couple, nice, couple nice throw passes there. You can see they build up the attack and give themselves a chance here to um, take a one nothing lead. And I think one goal is all we're going to need tonight. If we can get a goal, that should probably be it. So it's a one-goal game for sure. So as we get under 10 minutes here, any opportunity um, will be critical. Um, so far, the defenders have done well in terms of clearing the ball. No mistakes in the back. A couple opportunities up front for both sides, but they haven't been able to um, get a clear shot on goal. Or if they've had a shot on goal, they haven't been able to um, do anything but put it right at the keeper. Good eyes right there. Nice pass. Let's see if there's another one. A couple nice passing opportunities there. And, but cleared definitely away by the Northwest Knights. We've been able to get themselves out of trouble when Harrison's had it down. But some nice passing here in the second half from William Henry Harrison, especially in the last five minutes. Ball was cleared out of play almost. Settled by Har Henry Harrison. Number four, nice ball, beautiful ball, nice chest. But unfortunately, it went a little bit too far. If he could have chested that, put it to his feet, he had a good shot on goal. Unfortunately, he hit his chest and went right to the keeper. So there's a phrase in soccer where if you put it on your own goal, it's called an own goal. So I haven't had any own goals today, but um, anyway. Throw, throw in here for Wendell Harris Harrison, number 34. Looking to throw it back to the defender, and it looks like we have another substitution coming in here. Subbing in for William Henry Harrison is number, I think, 44. Harrison's 39 going. for Henry Harrison. A throw in here for William Henry Harrison. Headed back out of play. Another throw in. Settled. And cleared. Kind of knee away there, or thighed away. And it's a throw in back to William Henry Harrison. Well settled nicely. Okay, we're 0-0, zero zero, Northwest in Harrison in the Southwest Ohio Conference match here at the Northwest School District Stadium. I'm just off of 275, just off of Pippin Road on the northwest side of Cincinnati. Shot on goal there, unfortunately, it went to the side and out of play. Again, if you could have played it to the 12 or 18, you've got a chance to score there if you... Look to get it in the short side. A lot of times it just goes out of bounds, harmlessly. Warm night tonight for October. Um, we're about to get a change in the weather here, but we're probably in the mid 70s. And if you know anything about Southwest Ohio, this time of year you never know quite what you're going to get. We could be in the 70s today, and we could be in the 40s tomorrow. Um, Trees are turning. It's been pretty dry. Um, but we're expected to get some rain as a result of a hurricane that's coming off down in Louisiana, down the Gulf Coast. So that's sometimes what happens. An opportunity here. Oh, and we got a chance. Oh, we put it over the top. Almost a, almost a great opportunity there for um, number 39. But he played it over to 11, and 11 had a really good opportunity here, and he just played it over the top. 11. Boy, he had a heck of an opportunity, and he leaned back and right over the top. That was a tremendous opportunity. Number 44 is lamenting the opportunity that got away, but 
Number 11, probably even more so, because 11 had a shot about 12 yards out and put it right over the top. So we maintained, somehow we maintained 0-0. That certainly looked like that was going to be the goal that put Harrison on the way to a victory, but not to be. Goal so, kick, Northwest. So goal kick here for Northwest. We're just probably under 10 minutes now. So we're getting to the later stages of this game, and again, a nice boot. Harrison settles it, cleared it back to Northwest, cleared away. Back to Henry Harrison, playing a little bit of back and forth here. Rather than making consecutive bats, I think we had a handball right there on um, Northwest. So as a result, there is a free kick for Henry Harrison. Let's see if they can cash in on this opportunity. Oh, nice job getting back there from Northwest. Did a nice job of getting back and prevented that opportunity. Let's see if Northwest can counter here. But nope, number 11's got it again. He's had a lot of touches in this half. Been near, near and around ball and opportunities to score, of course. We just saw one that, that he missed, but he's had some other ones as well. So been pretty active here. He's had a lot of chances. And let's see if Northwest can counter here. See if they can beat Harrison back. They do not. Defender number 24 does the smart move there. He clears it away rather than try to play it back to the middle or play it to the goalie where that could result in a turnover that could cost them the game. So we've got about seven, eight minutes left here in the second half. We're kind of guesstimating that. Ball cleared by Northwest, by Henry Harrison. Sorry about that. Played out of bounds and a throw in here for Northwest. A rare Northwest opportunity throwing. here in the second half for Northwest where they've got the ball with a chance to score. Looks to play it back to his teammate. Tries to play back to the middle and cleared wide. Let's see who gets this first. William Henry Harrison. Number 11 again on the touch. Nice turn there. Burst of speed. Let's see if he crosses it here, if he gets a nice cross. Could have a scoring opportunity and a goal. He scored. Oh, number 44 took advantage. Missed the first opportunity, stepped in and finished. He did not let a second opportunity pass, and that is awesome. Teammates congratulate him on a nice finish. And William Henry Harrison's got a one nothing game keeper. Crossed, played it, chested against his body, and definitely played it right to the corner. That was a perfect kick. Didn't have a ton of pace on it, but perfect placement, which is what you want. He's excited. His teammates are excited. He said, you know, he's yelling out. He goes, I missed that first one, but I ain't missing the second one. Beautiful goal there for number 44 for Henry Harrison, and that very well could be the game-winning goal here. Northwest probably only has about five minutes here to tie the game. And um, exciting moment there for, for, for William Henry Harrison. We're waiting for a signal from the ref. Synchronized this clock. Back to Northwest. Looks like settling it. And off the side of his foot, unfortunately. Right now, it looks like Northwest needs to pick up the energy level a little bit. 32 looks discouraged after that last kick out of play, but game is not over. You still have five minutes to score here, but they did look a little discouraged off of that goal they just gave up. Throwing here for number four. Oh, cleared, and I think actually a handball, but he let it slide. Probably played advantage there, maybe. Harrison it was kind of inadvertent, but it definitely definitely was a handball. Yep, yep, it definitely hit the hand. If anybody fo follows English soccer, they've done a reinterpretation of the rule on what is a handball and what is not a handball. And it has something to do with intention of that. They've tried to take intention out of the rule book. So as a result, anything that's an unnatural motion they are calling handballs, and there has been a couple of games decided by very controversial handball calls. 
Um, and they can also review it on VAR, which I'm glad we don't have VAR here, unless Mr. Suarez wants to institute it, and we, we, could, we could add about another hour to the game here by reviewing plays. <laughs> but I understand if the EPL is looking for anybody, Tony is for hire <laughs> at the right price. <laughs> have to open up the borders again, though. Borders are closed right now, so you might have a tough time getting across. You could do virtual VAR. Oh, Lev with the chance, and oh, off the side of his foot. He has had so many opportunities today. He's a little frustrated, I am sure. Problem he had on that one, though, is he did not settle. He tried to kick a moving ball, and a moving ball is harder to kick. He had enough time to settle it and take a shot. So, anyway, if we weren't anything here in the second half, we've decided that VAR is out for now. Maybe institute at the high school level, varsity level next year. Ball is cleared. And I'm not sure how much time we got left now. We're probably getting down to the last three or four minutes, maybe. Now we got a minute. So this is desperation time by Northwest. Free kick, Northwest. Going to try to do a long kick. Great idea. Headed definitely back. And again by Henry Harrison. But number 24 for Northwest clears it. But we're, we're getting into the few seconds, the hourglass. On the timer is about done. We had a foul yeah, called there on Northwest. Northwest. And that probably is going to about do it for, for this game. And William Henry Harrison did end up getting the goal here that gave them the one nothing victory. Had a scoreless battle for about, gosh, 70 minutes of the, 60, 60, 65 minutes of the game. So we're getting down to just seconds left in the game here, I believe. Let's see if Northwest can somehow clear it. A little bit of collision there, but well done by Northwest. I mean by Henry Harrison. Kicks it up the field, up, up, up by the fence. And that, that's probably going to about do it. We are in extra time here. This throw-in could be it in an exciting Southwest Ohio Conference game between William Henry Harrison on the Ohio-Indiana border and Northwest Ohio. Ref still giving them a little bit more time, but we've got to be on the last few seconds here. I can't see if the ref's looking at his watch yet. Blew the whistle. That's not game end, that's a foul. Free kick, Northwest. He's glancing at his watch, which means we must be getting pretty close to time. Northwest is going to have to kick this about 70 yards in the net here, I think. I think we're going to call it a game after this kick, if I'm guessing. Nope. we got a little bit of time left. Let's see if Northwest can pull out a miracle tie. Clear it again. And, North, and William Harrison at this point just want to play it out, play to 11. Let's see if he gets one more chance. 29, let's see if he's going to get a chance here to get a second goal. Well cleared. Keeper makes a nice save. So we've got to be really close here. Nice punt. Northwest is need to pull out a miracle here. Not a lot of time. Still, we, we were thinking it was done here, but he's given him a little bit more time, so maybe another opportunity for, for William Henry Harrison. Unless counter, looks like he's going to take it all the way here. Good, good ball. Oh, we've got a throw in here. If I'm, William, if, I'm, if I'm Northwest, I have the one kid that has the great throw in. I think it's number 23, isn't it? I'd have him making the throw in here. Put it on net, but they do not do that. But I would be considering it. Here he comes. 23 is coming for the throw and just as called. Oh, no, he wasn't doing throw and he was actually playing it back to him. My bad. We got to be glancing at his watch again. 
And he blows the whistle, and that's it. In a, in a competitive match here at Northwest Ohio High School, we have a final score of William Henry's Harrison one. A great goal with the 40, uh, a very timely sub by William Henry Harrison, number 44. Clapping right now, he got a great goal. Um, perfect timing by the coach. He timed the one ball and he put it in the net. Do we have that on replay, the game winning goal or no? There we go, fantastic. Gets a high five from his teammates, number 14. The 44 comes in about 10, 15 minutes to go and has the game winning goal. So here we've got some of the highlights of the game. Just over the top, William Henry Harrison, great scoring opportunity. Oh, great save. That come from the first half? Okay, I missed the first half, sorry about that. That was a great save. Opportunity here, another opportunity from William Henry Harrison, who probably had oh, three or four times as many scoring opportunities. Here's a chance, right at the keeper. We're getting pretty close to the goal scoring opportunity. This was the one that was played just wide. I looked at that replay, 29 almost had the chance there, a little bit of collision. One of the best collisions of the game, I guess. And that ball was put over the top of the net. Here was a good scoring opportunity. One of the good scoring opportunities from Northwest played wide. Number 11 plays it back to the middle. Played off the keeper, good job. We're getting close to our goal scoring opportunity. Easy save for the keeper. Here was the one that was missed, and then the other one was played over the top by number 11, remember that one. And I think we got our goal scoring, number 29 to the middle. Nice settle with the, with the chest, and then a beautiful finish for a 44. Late substitution with the game winner. And here's one other opportunity off the side of the foot over the net. Off the side, saved by the keeper. So good opportunities there for Harrison. They finally they finally stepped up, got the game-winning goal, and you can see he's excited. The gay guy with the game-winning for number 44. I wish I knew his name so I could congratulate him by name rather than number, but the double four stepped up and made the game-winning goal. And he can probably turn back and watch this later on Waycross, huh? Say good night, everybody. We will see you for the varsity game coming up in a few minutes.